Hey guys, it's Chanel Diane. So today I just wanted to show you guys some clips from my trip to Southeast Asia where myself and a few ladies went to go collect hair. Um, it was a very interesting trip. We almost were like an episode of Taken and or at least we thought. Um, we had a little issue with one of our drivers when we were in Vietnam. They don't speak English, only a few people speak English and our driver got lost and went to like backwoods and we were all pretty nervous. So that was an experience within itself, but we all made it home. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show clips of our trip to Vietnam and then our trip uh, to a few other places in Southeast Asia where we collected hair. Now I just wanna say that you're not obligated to go overseas to collect hair if you wanna start a hair company. Now I have chosen to go quite a few times. I've been to India, I've been in the Philippines, I've been to Vietnam, I've been to um, Laos, I've been to Myanmar, I've been to a few places. And that's just because I want to see and I want to be hands on and I want to show you how I want my webs. I want to show you how long I want my beards. I want to show you the quality that I expect. I want to show you what patterns I expect. I want you to know. So I go overseas for that reason. I don't necessarily go to source new vendors only because I feel like it's a little tricky if you decide to go overseas in order to find vendors because you don't know what you're going to get. Flights aren't cheap. Um, hotels aren't cheap, translators aren't cheap, so kind of wing it and just to go boss to the wall and hey, I'm going to go on a trip randomly to some foreign country in hopes that I come across the most magical hair. Nah, girl, I don't suggest that at all. <laughs> but um, I will say there are a few things that I definitely suggest. Make sure, number one, that you know what your visa or requirements are before you leave the country. So we had two girls that at the airport um, were told that they needed um, visas for Vietnam. Now, I expressed that everyone needed a visa. I sent links and everything, but there's a bit of miscommunication because they give you an option to have a visa on arrival. Now, visa on arrival, you still have to fill out paperwork online. So that was a bit of miscommunication, but we got it straightened out. Everyone got to go on the trip, it was fine. Um, also, you know, there's a lot that you want to take with you on a flight there. I can get into that more if you want a separate video about what to expect when you go overseas to collect hair. I could definitely get into that. But I just want to show a few clips just so you can kind of see the experience. It'll kind of be a warm up before I really dive in and do another video where I really just show everything, break everything down. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. So we'll kind of do like a two-parter. This video is just going to show the clips. And the second video, I'll really break it down of what to expect when you go overseas. Um, things that you should bring with you. Kind of how to pack. Things like that. So um, I love you guys. I'm actually going to start vlogging. So um, my next few trips, I'm going to vlog and let me know if y'all like it. Because I don't really know what I'm doing with vlogging. But let's hope for the best. Um, and I think that's it. I have to go catch a flight right now. So we're going to have to wrap this up. I love you guys. I will be seeing you soon. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, so y'all dye it in there. Yes. Okay. Okay. This? Yeah, we steam, steam and uh, we, uh, yeah. Really a steam machine. Oh, okay. So for like the curl pattern. And after. Same, same. Book a uh, half web, web hair, okay? Oh, I want this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very goody, very yeah. goody. Yeah. yeah. I want the very curly. That's like super rare. You go. Just oh, cut it off. Book a yeah. web hair, web hair, okay? Oh, this is pretty too. keep the curls on there because like in China and stuff they use uh, like holes like rods mm -hmm. but I never could figure out how they kept the uh, hair in place Okay. 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 Okay.
Now he is he has been having shop and now he make another shop. Yes. Okay. Okay. He told me we have to ship <laughs> yeah. in a few days. Hey ladybugs, it's Chanel Diane. Ever so quickly, I forgot to mention, um, if you are interested in launching a hair company, I do have um, online classes for you guys, but I also have a few live classes that are coming up. The next one is actually um, April 2nd. It's in Houston, Texas. Um, after that, I have one in New York, April 23rd. And then I think after that is Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. But yeah, it's all on the site, launch a hair um launchahaircompany.com. All the information is there. If you click on um the menu, then click consult, then click the live classes, all of the live classes are there. But I just wanted to let you know um for everyone that is has been asking. I get a lot of questions about, oh, when's the next class, when's the next class? So those are the dates for the next class. So if you are interested, I will put all the information down below. Um, and my next video or the video after that will actually be um, things to know when traveling overseas to like collect hair or anything. Um, if you have any specific questions, feel free to comment down below and I will make sure to answer them. Um, if you've seen my broken nail, I've been traveling. I literally, literally just got these nails done yesterday, but I digress. Um, but yeah, so I am going to attempt to get some work done now and I will talk to you guys soon. Love